Good morning, guys. Today we are going to discuss about how to manipulate a DC motor with IR remote. We are using an Arduino, a DC motor, and IR remote and sensor, as you all can see, and a L293D motor driver. Um, this one. It's an H H bridge motor driver which can control up to two DC motors at a time. We need this motor driver in case of DC motors because unlike stepper motors, DC motors require a high amount of current whereas the control circuit that is Arduino or any other works on low current signals. It acts as an interface between the motor and the control circuit. So the function of a motor driver is to take a low current signal and turn them into high current signal that can drive a motor. Well, that's all with the hardware. Now let's get down to the code. First, we include the IR remote library and initialize pin 11 as receive pin of the IR sensor. This one. Okay. Now in void setup, we start the receiver here and we use, uh, we start the receiver here. I receive the tenable IR in. And we use a mo uh, serial monitor to keep check on the signals received by the IR remote. And as it's written, if driver crashes, we can get a clue what's the problem. In void loop, we check the signals from IR remote by decoding them into hexadecimal values. And then we print them on a serial monitor to keep, keep check on them. To keep a check on them. In this case, we are using the pause play. In case of this program uh, project, we are using this pause play button and to start and stop the motor. We are using the volume plus to move the motor forward or anti-clockwise. We are using the volume minus to start uh, start the motor moving in a clockwise or black backward direction. And to and we are using this button to make it move in right direction and this button to move the motor in left direction. Okay, let's check. Simulate and check. Okay, simulating. See, just moving in a far, uh, forward or clockwise direction. It's moving backward in anti clockwise direction. And if we do this, wait a minute, it start moving towards the right. Well, it's not so clear out here because it's a, it's a top view. Well, if you are using a real motor, you'll understand. And it starts moving towards the left. So here it's actually showing towards the right, but if you use a real motor, you'll see it's starting, it's moving towards the left. So don't get confused. So guys, that's how we are able to manip manipulate our DC motor with the help of IR remote and Arduino. Uh, thank you guys. That's all.